welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Annie. If you are returning, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you how I curl my hair um, and how I make it last four days. This is like the curling technique that I use to make sure that it does last because I don't like having to do my hair every single day in the sense of like hot tools. So if you like hair videos, um, make sure that you subscribe down below so you never missed a video. Um, but then also like it if you enjoy hair videos and then comment down below if you have any suggestions for videos that you want me to do in the future. Um, but yeah, let's get into the tutorial and I hope that this is helpful. Okay, so to start off with, um, I am using a Conair one inch. Um, I feel like one inch is very versatile for no matter what length your hair is, the thickness, everything like that. Even if it's hard to curl and to hold a curl, your hair most likely will hold a better curl with a one inch. This one has a clamp and I personally think that everybody just needs one curling iron. You don't need a wand and this and other things. It's just like this one and done. You can use it as a wand if you want, but I personally like using it as a clamp. As I said, it lasts longer in my hair. I already sprayed in my um, heat protectant. This is the Dry Bar Prep Rally, but I also like the Tresemme one. That was $4. This one I think is like 20 So I did that and now I'm gonna brush out my hair. So now wherever your um, part is, um, put that obviously where it needs to go. I'm doing middle parts. And so what I do is I usually just do two or like two and a half sections. I'm gonna grab it from like my eyebrows up. If you have thinner hair or not as much hair, honestly, I have thin hair, but I have just like a lot of it. You might not have to separate it. And then I usually just separate it in to two sections. So hold it vertically, okay? Um, and with this technique, I'm going to zoom in, but it can take a little bit of practice to really get it down. You know, so grab vertical sections and but by what I mean vertical sections is it's like thicker, but it's like thinner at the top. So just grab it and like that. So I'm gonna start, oh, if I can see, in the middle and I twist it. And then when I get like the turn, then I bring it down, okay? And I twist it up and I just like do this all the way until it's up here. So with this type of curl, it's going to have more volume in the middle as opposed to like curls at the bottom if you have like longer hair. Cause my hair is like only like, I would say it's medium short. It's maybe like medium. And then you drop it down, okay? So now you just keep doing that vertical section, twist, pull down. And like I said, it takes a little bit of practice but once you get it down, like I can do my whole head in like five minutes. Obviously I'm talking, so it's gonna take a while. And I don't hold it for that long since I've colored my hair. I feel like damaged hair holds curls better. <laughs> I know that sounds really bad. Um, so my hair when I was younger and I had like, I guess you could call it like virgin hair, it would not hold a curl. Like I could go all day. I remember all day in fourth grade, I'd curl my hair every single day and it would be like flat by the time I came home. So this is gonna be more curls and not necessarily beachy waves. So keep that in mind. I recently just got my hair done as in like, you know, went to a salon, colored, cut, all that stuff. And she did the waves where with a clamp I'll put in like a cutaway to show. And it's like, it makes really nice effortless waves. So if that's what you're looking for, try that technique. I personally can't really get it down, but I'll like try to show you. But I don't, they didn't last long in my hair at all. Like the next day I had to fix, fix it as in like retouch it up and curl it and stuff. So. so as you can see, I don't touch them. You know, if you watch TikTok or all that kind of stuff with hair tutorials, don't touch your hair. Like, let it completely cool. It'll help you last longer. Okay. Still haven't touched it. I have this piece, but I don't care. 
I'm not going to do my bangs because I used that with the straightener. I've tried to figure it out with the curler, but just doesn't get the effect that I want. Always do vertical I probably should have said this at the beginning but I always go curl I always curl away from my face I never alternate I just don't like that look on me personally if you like that you do you but I don't like it I'll leave at the top layer I leave a little bit more out than I did on the bottom just so it's not so, I don't know, uniformed, too perfect. Okay, now I'll show you how I do my curtain bangs. So I still haven't touched them, they're still there. I hate, hate, hate using two tools in the same day, but I have tried to get the swoop that I want with a straightener. Oh my, gosh. oh my gosh. With a curler, but I just can't. So I have to use a straightener. This is the dry bar one. Um, I've had it for years. I really like it. I feel like some people, like if you look at reviews, because I was, I did a blog post all about like the certain hair tools I feel like everybody needs, the only hair tools that everybody needs. And I was doing reviews on this because I was like, I like this, but I don't really use this too much to straighten my hair. So maybe that's it. People are saying that it like gets caught, but then again, what hair straightener does not get caught in your hair every once in a while. So I'm just going to grab the pieces and you're gonna do it pretty much horizontally. Grab it. Sometimes takes two passes. Okay, here we go. And then this side is always hard for me to curl because it's my non-dominant hand. So. Oh, it's a little too curly, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, so now that my curls, my head curls, Now, I just run my fingers. I've still not used any product except for the heat protectant. Obviously this side looks a lot better. This is actually my good side anyways. This is usually not my good side. But yeah, so like I said, these curls last me days. Um, sometimes around the front, you just have to do a little touch-ups if you want it more to like frame your face, but. And then um, I, today I'm not gonna use any texture spray, but I probably will tomorrow. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I don't use any hairspray or anything. This is a curled look, not a wave look. So I hope that this was helpful, um, gave you either like a new technique to curl your hair or one that will hopefully last a lot longer than what you're typically used to. So um, if you like this video, let me know, like it so I know, and subscribe if you're not, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.